there is one thing on this channel that you can be guaranteed, it is fresh fades and lifting weights. I hope you enjoyed that intro. Big thank you to Blue Man for sponsoring today's video. Again, you can get 10% off all Blue Man products with the code LIPSIT. Use that checkout on the site. It's what I use to get my hair looking so good and I've been working with them for about a year now and they're an amazing brand. So again, link in the description box, go check them out. So now we're gonna get changed into our gym gear and we are gonna go work out with someone who is an absolute killer YouTube. He's over here from the other side of the planet and we're gonna have a great day. So you're gonna see who it is in the next clip. What's up? What's going on, bro? Who is here? It's like I know you already. I know, right? It's nuts, I feel it's like nuts. I've met like basically everyone from like our generation of Seriously. YouTube. Seriously, and you know what like shocks me, okay? It is so hard to get Americans to leave America. I cannot get, <laughs> you're gonna travel. I can't get Christian or Max to leave Texas. So I seeing can't you, get Max to go anywhere either, bro. Yeah, exactly. So seeing you here in Marbella <laughs> is, is just blowing my mind right now. I'm it's pumped crazy. to be here, bro. Yeah. I, mean, I have family in Spain, so like yeah. because I have family in Spain, we go to Sevilla yeah. every year. And because I was looking yeah. at like your second name, and I was like, oh, that's a Spanish second <laughs> name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quick one, this video is sponsored by Blue Man. If you want your hair looking as good as me and David's, Blue Man, the link is in the description box. Hit it up. <laughs> There's even a Ninja Warrior course down at the end. For real? Yeah, for real. Honestly, like a full-on Ninja Warrior course. Well, that could be us. Bro. That could be us post-workout. Not sure what your workout schedule is. I'm hoping to hit a push day. For me, it's push day every day. I'm always down for a push. You know, it's the push day it is. That's it, man. Look, man, we can even hop in the hot tubs afterwards. It can get a little bit of OnlyFans, too, as well. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do this. Like, I don't care if that is the same weight. If that is the same weight, the plates must be the same. That is up. That's just doing my head in. That needs to be changed now. <laughs> and then hold for two seconds at the top. One, two, two, few down. Come on. One, two. Come on. One, two. Last one. Hold, 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 hold. So guys, we're just gonna have a little post-workout chat, okay? We're gonna ask David three questions, right? One on fitness, one on YouTube, and one on dating, okay? So fitness, how's your training been going while you're traveling, and what kind of tips do you use? Because again, you're coming from America to Spain, we, like the, the nutrition label isn't even on everything, you know, it's a lot more rural, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the gyms may not be as good, even though this is insane. Seville, your sound's a bit different. Yeah, yeah, not as nice as gyms there. Yeah. Ah, I mean, I'm not like insanely strict too much even even in the States right now, if I'm being honest, unless like I'm like doing like a focus cut, which I'm not doing right now. So anything, I think I probably lose weight on the trip just because we walk, in Spain you just walk everywhere, especially in Sevilla, you yes. just walk everywhere. And I think I eat less because it's like the smaller tapas serving. <laughs> I was telling them in terms of the gym though, definitely more rest days. Maybe training like three days a week instead of five or six, but just, just enjoying the travels. Still getting to the gym. The weights don't even match up either. Yeah. So, so, I, so I can't like follow my program and the numbers. So I kind of just go, like I'm gonna go eight to 15 reps or yeah. something and just go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and your channel is like a very much a lifestyle channel. You know, you, you live that good life. You go to Ibiza, you know, again, your videos, <laughs> if you haven't checked them out, please do. It's just like all around living that good life. So next, onto the channel, YouTube. You are 
a viral king. Like you you got some seriously high views on videos. What is kind of um, a piece of advice for someone who wants to replicate that? I think you want to like experiment making different types of videos that you're actually going to enjoy making and then you'll see like all right like which of these videos is YouTube picking up and showing to a bigger audience for me at first it was like the the, the videos approaching girls in the streets yeah and those are a pain in the ass to make so I, I rarely do them anymore <laughs> but uh, at first like when I was first really trying to build the channel I noticed that every time I put one of those up like a month later it would have a few hundred thousand views and I was like all right I'm gonna do one of like two of these videos a month yeah and then I'll, I'll mix in like other types of content I like but, yeah experiment with different types of videos and see like what what YouTube catches on it's so funny that you say you know they're the videos that the videos they get lots of views but they're a bitch to do that's like my calorie challenges yeah, they're yeah the videos bro. they get so much views but they are a bitch to do I'm looking like <laughs> shit for two weeks after that so again you have to get like these viral bangers here and there but then you make people stay for the more valuable chilled content um, so yeah, that's how I find your channel as well, you know. <laughs> and also, rule number one, put your girlfriend in the thumbnail as well. I'm, I'm like, Linda, come on, get in here. And then, so last one, you give out some amazing relationship advice on the channel. You're getting married very soon as well. What's some general relationship advice uh, for someone who's in it, wants to get into a long-term relationship? An LTR. An LTR. <laughs> like yourself. Man, I think at first, most guys who I see are like struggling. Uh, with their dating life, either they're just not even trying at all, or they're like too deep into the dating advice and they're they're overthinking all these little details. So like the main thing I say is you gotta realize like in order to like be dating a girl, like first you have to like talk to her whether that's online or in person. Then you have to ask her like, do you want to hang out? Then you have to like get her phone number. Then you have to set up a date. And then on the date, at some point, you probably want to like bring her back to your place or make the move. As long as you do those things, like a lot of the the details in between don't matter. And if a girl's attracted to you, even if you say some dumb shit, like yeah, they, they they're gonna let it go. But yeah. if but if a lot of guys, what they'll do is they'll like get the phone number, but then they, they never try to set up the date. So yeah, then of course, yeah. nothing happens. Yeah, yeah. So it's all about executing, and as well, I, I saw some good, really funny, uh, just kind of statistic or statement right there. Like, fellas, the bar is low. If you're like working a career you're passionate about, you hit the gym regularly and you're confident, you're already at the top 5%. <laughs> no, it's true though, it's true. And yeah. get, a, get a few good photos of yourself. Yeah. Even if you just get a few good photos, all of a sudden online dating becomes like, there's, there's guys in my program who they come in, they're like, online dating doesn't work. They're like, go get a few new photos. And they're like, oh man, I got five dates this week. That's so crazy. <laughs> I still find it so much. So we we're talking about online coaching there as well. And David does full on like dating coaching, you're saying. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. That's nuts, man. I, maybe maybe if, the, if the fitness falls true, that's what I'll end up doing. <laughs> but uh, here, look, so good to have someone from America, a YouTuber that, you know, I can just chat for every topic about here and to have them in Marbella. Because again, you know, sort of Spanish people here or you know, English people or Irish people, it's just very rare to have some, especially from Texas, who's hanging out with the Alpha crew as well. It's awesome to have you here. So look, let's get another session during the weekend, bro. Yeah, for sure. Nice one. Thanks for having me on the channel. All right, guys, so we're finishing up today's vlog with some amazing food, amazing company, great atmosphere. My chicken is in a pineapple. We have officially made it. So guys, right, did you have a good day today? Yeah. Yes, great day. day. A long day. A long day. Some good top food ended up. I don't get the pineapple though. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a little yeah. jealous. I'm a little jealous. Everyone is jealous of my pineapple chicken. <laughs> Alright, so close out the vlog here. Keep real. See you in the next one. Peace out.